This is the classic Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich number one deluxe with American cheese. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna recreate this and make it healthier. But first we gotta try it so we know what we're working with. Mm. I'm not sure if it's because usually I slather it with the Chick-fil-A sauce, but when I bite into the chicken, all I can taste is the oil. Mm. All right, so now let's try it with the sauce. Mm. That sauce is it. That kind of makes the whole sandwich in my opinion. So let's see if we can make it taste like that. So most dipping sauces are usually just a combination of various condiments to make a whole new one. And most of them are usually mayo based, but today I'm gonna to be using Greek yogurt to lighten things up. And I really like it because it adds that extra tanginess that you need in a sauce. So to my bowl, I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce. Always look for smoky hickory ones to give it that nice smoky flavor. Then I'm gonna add some yellow mustard, honey to sweeten it up. I'm gonna add some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, and a little bit of salt to balance everything out. Now we'll just give it a mix, mix, mix. Now if you guys want the exact measurements to everything, I'll have it written out in the description box below. The Greek yogurt helped it stay nice and thick. That's how I like my dip. Okay, let's give it a quick taste. We're gonna compare these two later, but this is good. Now I would just let it sit for like 15 minutes to really like come together while we work on our chicken. I'm using chicken breast here. Theirs tasted just kind of like oily chicken, but we're gonna inject ours with a brine to make sure it's flavorful, juicy, and tender. This is my secret ingredient, pickle juice. Yes, it's gonna give it that nice vinegary, briny flavor. Then we're gonna add some milk, which kind of coagulates with the vinegar to make buttermilk, some salt, and since I have some dill lying around, a few sprigs to add some extra flavor. And then we're gonna give our chicken breast a nice dilly milk bath for about 20 minutes. An herbal milk bath. It's a milk bath. <sighs> Okay, so I have my trinity as far as making a crispy, healthy chicken goes. I have some flour that I'm gonna season, and then an egg, and then some panko to make it nice and crispy. It's okay if some of the dill gets in there. That just means you get a little more flavor. With this part, sometimes it's easier just to use your hands to make sure it's coated evenly. And now we're ready to fry. Air fry. So I do need to spray it with a little bit of oil just to crisp up the outer panko, but nowhere near as much as when you deep fry. Now I'm just gonna pop it into my air fryer at 365 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes, flipping it halfway until it's nice and golden brown. Oh yeah. That's a nice looking piece of chicken. For the burger, I'm using a whole grain bun here. It's made with five different grains and has eight grams of protein. So I'm gonna start by slathering the bottom of the bun with a little bit of my Chick-fil-A sauce, my version. Then I'll add a few pickles, butter, lettuce, tomato slices, and then our crispy chicken, and then a slice of cheese. I'm using cheddar here. A little more sauce. Okay, so here is their Chick-fil-A number one original deluxe, and here is mine, super deluxe. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison starting with the sauce first. Looking at the color, mine is a lot lighter and creamier. Mmm, that is good. It has that hint of garlic in there, which I think is really delightful, and it just tastes real. Theirs is slightly more transparent looking, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, their sauce is really good. So I know what this sandwich tastes like, Let's try mine. Burger grip. Oh. Mm. There's so much flavor in the chicken, and I wouldn't even compare this to like a fast food chicken sandwich. I would compare it more to like a restaurant chicken sandwich because look at this. It's amazing. <laughs> You still get the crispiness exterior of the chicken and that dilly flavored brine really came through. The sauce, it's, I mean, it's not like exactly like Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's very, very close. It has that smokiness, that savoriness that I really like. I don't know, I'll let you guys be the judge. Try this recipe and let me know what you thought. If you guys wanna see more remake videos of healthier versions versus restaurant, fast food, whatever versions, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.